Hello viewers and welcome to a new episode of Trash Talk on Lancer, Long Rim Edition. In today's episode, Caliban. Caliban, unlike the names taken up by the rest of IPS North Star lineup, actually came from a fictional character that came from William Shakespeare's play, The Tempest. In the play, Caliban is the son of Sycorax, a witch, who was long dead before the play begins and is also half man, half beast that lives on an unnamed island. He was however, treated as a mere comic relief as the actual main character, Prospero, adopted and enslaved him with his magic. That's probably not gonna fly well in this time and age. But in a way, Caliban did gain his freedom as he has taken a life outside of the play in many other stories, either inspiring new characters or outright used as reference like in the case of goddamn Marvel. He is, as quoted by Russell Hoban, a hungry idea that's looking for someone to word him into being, a necessary idea. And like its namesake, Caliban is made solely for the necessities of breach and clear assault at maximum efficiency. Extremely brutal, but extremely effective at ripping and tearing people apart, very quickly. Now, onto its stat, Caliban has low health, 2 armor with an average evasion and E defense. It's deceptively slow and is rather small in size. Its heat cap is slightly bad, has the worst sensor range among all in the book, bad tech attack bonus, but it does have good save target. Onto its traits, it has a staggering 4 of them. First, Wrecking Ball, makes Caliban counts as size 3 when inflicting knockback from any ranged or melee attack. Second, Pursue Prey, whenever Caliban inflicts knockback as a part of any action, it can move the same number of spaces afterwards as a free action or reaction thanks to, sheer fucking angers I guess, as long as it is made directly towards its target. This movement also ignores engagement and does not provoke reaction. Third, Slam, for once per round when Caliban knocks a character into any obstruction such as wall, terrain, or other mech that would stop its movement, the character must pass a hull save or take 1d6 kinetic damage and becomes impaired until the end of its next turn. And finally, weak computer, Caliban takes plus 1 difficulty to all systems checks and saves. With all these traits around, Caliban is one hell of a pint-sized wrecking ball that will never find its praise out of its reach. As for its weapon mounts, it has one, a heavy, along with five, base system points. Onto its core system, Caliban comes equipped with the HHS-075 flare shotgun as a passive. Decent damage, short range, decent threat, inaccurate, but of course, it came with knockback too. On top of that, whenever Caliban fires the flare as a part of any action, it can smash any nearby character after the action resolves for one kinetic damage and knocking them back by one space. Very good for an all-out close range brawl. And as for its core power, Caliban can put an auto choke on its flare shotgun. Better damage, cone 3, same threat, accurate and a staggering 5 knockback. That's it. That's the entire core power, who needs fancy power when you have a fucking shotgun. As for the rest of the license, you get Hammer Universal Rotary Projectile Launcher and Supermassive Mod in the first section. Hammer Universal Rotary Projectile Launcher is a impactful grenade launcher. Great damage, short range, capable of arcing, knock back too, but is inaccurate. It's a decent alternative to mortar. Supermassive Mod gives your weapon a bigger kick. Choose a melee, CQB, or cannon weapon, this weapon now has overkill tag and plus one knockback. During full repair, the safety limiter can be turned off, giving the weapon plus two knockback, but now gains ordnance tag if it's ranged weapon, and inaccurate tag if it's melee weapon. In the second section, aside from Caliban frame itself, you get hardpoint reinforcement and spike charges. Hardpoint reinforcement, keep you hardy as long as you go fast. As long as your mech isn't being slowed or immobilized, you gain resistance to all damage on your turn. However, it's only good on your turn, so it's only good against reaction fire. Spike charges, are grenades with spikes on them I guess, just like all other grenade and mine combo, it takes a charge from its limited charges to use, and has two forms. First, spike grenade, when you throw it at a character, they must pass an agility save or have the grenade stuck on them. If it's an object, it just attaches. At the start or the end of your turn, you can choose to detonate all spike grenades as a free action, dealing 1d6 kinetic damage to whoever or whatever it is attached to, and knock them back by 3 spaces in any direction of your choice. A character can also detach the grenade by successfully passing the agility save with a quick action on their turn, otherwise it detaches at the end of the scene. Second, spike mine, upon activation, all characters caught in its burst 2 radius must pass an agility save or get a spike grenade attached to them like above. Everything else pretty much works the same. In the final section, you get Rapid Maneuver Jets and HHS-155 Cannibal. Rapid Maneuver Jets, 
makes you as hard to hit as a speeding bullet. For once per round when you boost, you can engage the system with plus one heat, causing you to fly, gain overshield 5 for protection, and you can ignore engagement from and may free pass through any spaces of other characters larger than you, but not end your turn in their space. HHS 155 Cannibal It's a shotgun, a big, fucking, shotgun. Big damage, short range, decent threat, knock back too, but it's inaccurate and requires loading after each shot, however, it's a little different here. You see, Cannibal is a double-barreled shotgun, which means it can fire two hard-hitting shots, or one really powerful shot by firing both barrels at once with plus one additional difficulty for 3d6 plus four kinetic damage and knock back four. Oh, and as a bonus, it can do this. Anything stupid enough to stand within range 3 of you when you reload will immediately take 6 kinetic damage straight to their cranium. As a conclusion, Caliban is a brutal close combat machine even larger opponents will fear with dread as it will pummel them into the wall or the dirt. Caliban is full of rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you who will be in it, you will be worse, rip and tear, until it's done.